Hey, what's up? I'm Anoush from AndroidRoots.com. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Android 5.0 L Developer Preview Android Keyboard and also the Android Launcher on any Android device. So in today's video, I'm going to demo it on my Galaxy S5, but it's really going to work on any Android device as, you know, as long as you're running on a recent, you know, uh, you know ice cream sandwich and above, you should be fine. Uh, this particular version is KitKat TouchWiz, but it works just great. Both the launcher and the keyboard work great on this device. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what the keyboard looks like on my Nexus 5 running on Android 5.0L developer preview version. That is a mouthful. Um, but here is the new Android keyboard right here. So this is the L lollipop, whatever you want to call it. Um, and also here's the launcher. So it's a basic Google Home launcher. It's, I don't see, I don't spot any differences from the KitKat version or anything like that, but I'll also include it in this video and demonstrate how to get it on any Android device or tablet. So let's go and do this. So in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating on my Galaxy S5, but like I mentioned earlier, this should work on any other Android device without a problem, as long as you follow my steps, uh, because it's just APKs, installing APKs, it's pretty much straightforward. Um, so let's go ahead, first of all, let's go ahead and go into settings, and then go ahead and scroll down, and it's going to be a little bit different uh, varying each device, but just go into settings and go ahead and find security. Um, it should be called security. Um, yeah, right here. So here's security. So it should, it should be named security or something like that. And then all the go all the way down to device administration, and then make sure unknown sources is checked marked. Make sure that is checked marked, or this process will not work. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dive into fi my file manager. And um, actually, um, let me go and refresh that. There we go. Um, so now, as you can see, we have three files. We have the keyboard, it's the middle one, uh, Google Launcher, and also Velvet. Now, to make Google, Ho Google Home Launcher work, you need to install Velvet first, APK, and just the keyboard is, all you have to install is the middle one. So, before we actually go ahead and install any of these, if you're planning on installing the keyboard, which is my favorite part of this, it's, you know, the keyboard looks really nice, make sure you uninstall the Google keyboard if you already have it installed. So if you already have it installed on your Galaxy S5, go to the Play Store, uninstall it, then we can go and install this. So here's the APKs, of course I'll link all three of these APKs linked down below in the video description. So we'll go ahead and install the keyboard first, so let's go ahead and tap on that. Tap on next, install, and just like that it's going to install the Google keyboard. And we can go and tap on open, um, so it gives me, we can go and get started, enable settings and all that, we can just go press home. and. Now let's see if um, it actually goes ahead and launches a new keyboard. Okay, so we're still on TouchWiz. So go ahead and uh, go ahead and pull down your notification shade. Tap on input method and then choose. Um, let's go and uh, go into language and input. And here we go. Um, you can go ahead and choose Google Keyboard right here. Tap on OK. Um, but we're not done just yet. Go ahead and tap on settings. Go all the way down to. Um, I just saw here, right, advanced settings, and then under color scheme, make sure it is set to material. If you don't set to material, it's not going to look as nice, it's not the new look then. So there's your material color scheme. Now if we go ahead and open up Chrome, and let's go ahead and kill this, um, and now it should go and launch. And let's try it. Hmm. Let's go and try it again. Um, there we go, let's go and choose it now, and there we go, alright, so you, you, I just have to select it again, but now it should launch by default, so let me go and kill that, and let's go and choose it, yep, there we go, so now it goes ahead and chooses it by default, so as you can see, it's exactly the same as the one I showed you on the Nexus 5 for the Android L preview edition one. So as you can see, they're exactly the same, which is really nice. I'm a big, big fan of this new keyboard. It looks really nice and very, very clean in my personal opinion. Um, and you have the nice teal look there too. So that's how you get the keyboard, but what about the launcher? So let's go ahead and go back into the file manager. <clears throat> let's go ahead, file manager right here. And like I mentioned earlier, you first have to install the Velvet APK. So we're gonna go ahead and install that right here and then install 
and this is really basic. All you have to, all you're doing is installing APKs and then you're done. And actually there's no root required except for Nexus devices. If you um for whatever reason, um Nexus devices, since they come pre-installed with a Google keyboard, if you want to install the Google keyboard on your Nexus device, you have to be rooted or it will not work. Okay, so we installed Velvet APK. Now, oh, we don't want to do that again. Now let's go ahead and install Google Home APK. Install that and we'll be done pretty soon. All right, so it's done now. We'll go ahead and tap on open and um, let's go ahead and just press home. Okay, oh, there we go. So there's our home. Yep, okay, that's our new launcher. Yep, it looks like, yep, we have a Google Now. So that is how you guys do it. Um, that's how you install the new Google Now launcher. I don't really see any differences from the KitKat version, but if you wanna install it, you can and try it out. And also the keyboard, which I'm a really, really big fan of as it looks really nice, as you can see. Um, so that is how you get those features, those Android L preview developer features on your Android device. I'm only using this as a Galaxy S5, but it'll work with any Android device, um, you know, Galaxy S4, there's my Galaxy Nexus. It should work with any Android device, really, as long as you're, because, just because you're installing APKs, it's pretty much straightforward. As I mentioned earlier, I'll leave the APKs linked down below in the video description. And if you guys did enjoy this content, be sure to like and subscribe in the bottom left -hand corner right there. And hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus if you wanna go ahead and get in contact with me, you wanna say thanks, you wanna say, hey, I'm having a problem with this and that. I'd love to help you guys out. I'll link that down below as well. And until next time, peace.